Okay, so in the last video, we saw how to um, set the chat name on for a user client on the server. Okay, so in this video, let's see how we can retrieve the list of connected clients. So we're going to be storing anytime a client connects to the server, we're going to store it there. Okay, first thing that we need to do is let's configure our um, browser code here inside of main.js. So anytime that a uh, user connects we're going to ask for the list of connected clients so right after emitting the username event here let's say socket dot emit and what do we want to emit we want to emit an event called ask for connected clients okay so that's going to be the first parameter so ask for connected clients okay and uh, it's passing a callback here so after that um, event happens we're going to be um, sent a users list there so there are two types of events one that just sends and forgets about it but the other one just waits for a confirmation so the second parameter there we're going to pass in is null because we're not um, passing in any data with this event here we're just passing in null and waiting for a confirmation this time we expect something remember these events that we're setting here socket.emit we're passing in a, a value here, but here we're not passing anything, but we're just waiting for a confirmation from the server. Okay, so once we've got that confirmation, we're going to do users list um, dot empty. Basically, uh, we just want to empty that users list. And the users list is something that we need to set in index.html here, but we'll do that in a moment. Okay, so we say users list dot empty, and then we're going to loop through all the users dollar dot each, the jQuery. Um, helper so let's say users and then we pass in a callback here so the callback will just go through the users list and um, say users list dot append the current user okay so that's going to be an li tag so it's going to be this dot username so because each user um, will have that property and then we're going to just close in the li tag here so let's go up here in our um, cached um, variables there and add in um, connected users okay so which was the name of the variable that was so that's users list and that needs to be a ul so let's say users list equal to dollar and um, let's just select it by saying users list and since we haven't created that yet let's go to our index.html and create it so just after current user um, the submit button for it let's create a ul there and the ul have, have a class of uh, connect users list okay so now we need to go to our server and um, create this event there just to handle this ask for connected clients so let's go to server.js the first thing we need to do is right um, after we've connected to the database we need to do uh, create another variable called connected sockets and the connected sockets will be an array so anytime that a user has connected we need to search inside this connected sockets to see if that socket exists okay so we're gonna do if connected sockets dot index of the current socket is equal to minus one we know that that user um, is not connected okay so um, let's do a connected socket push that socket okay so finally let's set an event handler for that ask for socket so socket dot on ask for connected clients we're gonna um, call, have this callback here so the callback there um, accepts two parameters one is the value that we passed in here in um, this value here and in this case it's null and the other one is the callback okay so since the value is null we're just going to put it a variable of nothing and the second one is just a callback okay so let's just say cb and um so let's get the connected um users list so say var connected users list equal to um connected um sockets so let's say connected sockets dot map so map is just a function that you pass it an array and then it just actually you're not passing an array you call it on an array and it runs for every member of that array and it 
you return a value and then it just transforms that for you okay so let's do function and um, item so anytime every item of the array will be stored in here and then we're going to return an object and the object will have an id which is the id of that um current socket so id dot id item dot id and the username will be item dot chat username okay so this username here is what we're retrieving when we're doing looping over each um ch connected chat name um connected user okay so that's this use this username here that's why we're setting it as username in the object so finally what we need to do is once we've retreated, retrieved connected users list we want to call that callback so let's just say cb and then we just say connected um, users list so the reason why we're calling this callback here is because we need to confirm um, inside here so you remember i said that this um, event we're emitting expects a confirmation so we're passing this callback here but we need to call it with whatever we expect in here that's why we're doing callback and we're passing connected users list so one more event that we need to set is when a user disconnects okay so let's just <clears throat> pass in another event handler here saying socket dot on disconnect and now we want to pass in an event handler here so what's going to happen is um we're going to do a console.log client disconnected and um, next thing that we need to do is we need to remove this socket from the um, list of connected sockets okay so let's do var index so we get the index of the socket so let's say connected um, sockets dot index of and then we're going to say socket and um, let's just do a splice on the list of connected sockets so let's say connected sockets dot splice and um, split is just a way of saying remove this element from this array so since we have the index of this disconnected socket we're just going to pass in the index and then we pass in one to say just remove one element from that index okay so let's do a log there saying currently plus connected sockets dot length so we want to specify how many people uh are currently connected okay clients connected okay so now let's um, start our server and try this out on the browser okay so no server that there is uh um, let's connected let's refresh this now so you just list um alex2 and then j2 so we are connected both in the server so let's refresh this as well as you can see, at J2 and then at X2. Okay, so let me load up another browser. Um, which is Max um, default browser. Let's say into this. Okay. So let's load up Safari and um, just test it out as a third client. So I'm just going to copy this here quickly and paste it here. So Safari, as you can see, has a default anonymous username here. So now um, let's refresh that. And as you can see, now we're all connected um, to this server as clients. So when I refresh over here, it's just going to specify that um, Safari is also connected. Now let's come to Chrome browser and let's refresh it and as you can see um, safari is also connected in that list there okay so the reason why automatically when a user is connected um that this list is not updated is because this in this callback here um socket dot on username when a new user is connected we're not handling that here so we're going to do that in the next video but for this video that will do for now we are retrieving all the connected clients and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in the next video cheers bye bye